In the early 18th century, Europe was obsessed with a mysterious substance imported from China, a smooth, white, almost translucent material known as porcelain. It was called white gold, and kings and nobles paid extravagant sums to own it. Despite countless attempts, no one in Europe could replicate the recipe. The secret of true porcelain seemed forever locked in the East. That is, until a curious accident involving broken pottery changed everything. In 1708, in Dresden, Germany, an alchemist named Johann Friedrich Butger was being held under the orders of Augustus the Strong, the King of Saxony. The king had heard that Butger could make gold, and he wasn't about to let such a man roam free. But Butker's experiments never produced gold. Instead, they produced a mess of failed materials, shattered pots, and endless frustration. One day, while experimenting with clay mixtures, Butker's assistant accidentally dropped one of the test pots into the kiln at an unusually high temperature. When they pulled it out, they noticed something unexpected. Instead of cracking, the material had fused into a hard, glass-like surface. It was smooth, gleaming, and unlike anything they had seen before. That accident caught Butker's attention. He began experimenting further, blending different clays and minerals, including a special white clay known as kaolin. The more he tested, the closer he got to the mysterious Chinese porcelain. And after countless trials and shattered pots, he finally succeeded. By 1709, Becker had recreated the world's first true European porcelain. The discovery transformed Saxony into the porcelain capital of Europe, and the Meissen factory he helped establish became a symbol of luxury and craftsmanship. Ironically, Becker had failed in his quest to make gold, but he ended up creating something just as valuable. What began with a broken pot and a desperate experiment forever changed art, science, and European industry. It's a reminder that in the pursuit of one dream, you might stumble upon another, sometimes even more precious than the first.